Hey guys, I just want to kind of put some public service announcement out there about barrel socks. I've been getting a lot of questions about barrel socks, both on and off the field, and uh, hearing a lot of complaints or questions, you know, why do we have to have this, what is it good for, especially from even the, uh, not just the new players, but even some of the older players who have played uh, places that don't require barrel sock or uh, have been away from the sport and come back. So. This is a barrel sock. These are my custom barrel socks. They have my name and logo on them, but you can use any barrel sock as long as it is something that is commercially produced for this purpose. Um, what a barrel sock is, is it goes on the end of the barrel to prevent accidental discharge in the staging area. It's a safety device and it is required at all of Geddon's games, as well as a multitude of other locations across the state and even out of state. So. This is a thing that's been around in paintball for, good, for a good number of years. Uh, they prevent a lot of accidents. I'm going to show you how it works really quick. This is a small Thompson that I have here. Barrel stock goes on the end. It's got a bungee. And then it just sits on the gun like that. Uh, this does not completely replace our old policy of magazines out, weapons on safe, with a chamber cleared. Uh, this is an additional step. So you still have to do all the things you used to do, like clear the, drop the mag, clear the weapon put it on safe, but then we add the barrel stock. The reason we do that is because with a large number of people on the field, it's easier for the admins to look at a gun and immediately know that it has no magazine and a barrel stock uh, than it is to go around and make sure everybody has actually fired all their extra rounds out of the chamber and trust that everyone will keep it on safety. Uh, I have seen a gross number of accidental discharges at airsoft games uh, where barrel stock would prevent an injury uh, so I absolutely stand behind the rule. I don't see this as some kind of evil encroachment by the insurance company. I actually support this. Even without the insurance company telling me to do it, I believe I, I would enforce a barrel sock rule at all of my events. Uh, with the barrel socks, we pretty much have no accidental discharges in the staging zone that result in injuries. So it is for your safety and it is required. Uh, to make it clear that you've got to have a proper barrel sock. A proper barrel sock is an actual commercial barrel sock. It can't be a sock from the sock drawer or a glove. You can't put your glove on the on the barrel. Uh, I've seen camera bags and all kinds of stuff used as barrel socks. Those are not adequate and they will not be allowed. If you come to a game that requires a barrel sock and you don't have one, you'll have to buy one. You've got to have one for every unholstered weapon such as a rifle or a shotgun. Uh, the only exception is a shotgun in a shotgun scabbard or a pistol in a pistol holster. As long as it's holstered or in a scabbard, no problems. You don't need a barrel sock. Anything else, got to have a barrel sock. And you've got to have it with you at all times. So you need to find a place in your kit. If you need to make a pocket or pouch, do that. Uh, a lot of guys just use the bungee and tie them to their guns. And then it's always there when you need it. So that's it. I just want to clear it up. Barrel socks, very important very much required. Uh, no excuse for not having one. They're about five dollars. They're pretty inexpensive. If you don't have one yet, you might as well pick one up. They're pretty much getting uh, required at more and more locations all the time, and they're required for all Gettin's Games events. All right. Thanks. Play safe, guys.